Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI. And this is a 64-year-old male who had surgery about 12 years ago. He had neck pain and they found some disc herniations and they did a fusion here. This is an x-ray on the left. This is the MRI on the right here. So about 12 years ago, they did this fusion. We see an anterior fixation plate and these screws are going into these vertebral bodies. This is from C4 through C7. And the MRI here, you see how different this looks. The metal, instead of being white on x-ray, is dark here in the front. We see these uh, linear bands. These are the screws. We see this fusion block. And now this is a good example of what happens whenever you have a block like this. The discs have been removed. It's just one big long bone, and it puts abnormal stress on the disc level above and below the fusion. And so not uncommonly, like in this case, we see that there is a disc herniation here between C3 and C4. This is the disc. You can see the disc herniating backwards. You can see the spinal cord that's coming out down through the neck is getting flattened and compressed right here at this level. You can also see there's a little bit of bright signal within the spinal cord here. We call that compressive myelopathy. There's edema or um, gliosis, some abnormal signal within the cord, and that can become um, irreversible. It can cause neck pain and paresthesias and... Uh, this is something that when we see the cord signal changes like this, we know that they need to have surgery quickly before irreversible damage is done. And this is that disc herniation. You also have another smaller disc bulge or protrusion down here lower at the bottom level. So you can see how this fusion block is here. There's abnormal mechanics of stress, even worse at these two levels, and they develop new disc herniations and they have to fuse these. And when they do that, of course, there's gonna be abnormal stress on the ones adjacent to it. So a good example of one of the problems of uh, a fusion like this. Thank you very much.